Waterman Joe, Kent Island, Maryland, Coffee Roaster, Coffee Shop. Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, my dog's here. Pepper wants to be in the review too. Thank you, Pepper. What do you think? What does it smell like? Welcome to Moto's Cades and Coffee. Hey guys, Andy from Moto's Cades and Coffee, and I got another coffee review. Waterman Joe Coffee, Kent Island, Maryland. I'm gonna tell you all about it and how I got it. So I had a subscriber, a local subscriber, reach out and say they wanted me to review this coffee and they gave this to me. So very cool, thank you very much. I don't know anything about Waterman Joe Coffee except it's on Kent Island, um, on one of the main routes between Annapolis and Ocean City. Um, so there's a coffee shop, Waterman Joe. I don't know where they get their beans. Um, got the bag, it feels pretty big. I'm gonna guess it's either, let's go to ounces. I'm gonna guess it's uh, 14 or 16 ounces. 16, wow, a little bit more. Okay, so 16 ounce bag, that's a pound of coffee. I'm gonna grind it up and I don't even know if it's dark roast, light roast, medium roast. Let's go open it up and see what we can find out. All right, so the bag was open, um, and it looks to be a dark roast. Really nice, oily, dark beans. Whoops. Joy is a one-handed pouring, I'm sorry. All right, that's enough. I'm going to tell you what it smells like, and I'll give you the, the smelling notes, and then we'll grind it up. All right. Now, there's no burnt smell whatsoever, um, but it's pretty fragrant. All right, so the smell I'm getting, uh, the notes are tobacco is a big one, a definite sweetness to it, almost a plum or fig. And I think that that's about it. Maybe a little bit of nougat, nougat, nougat. <laughs> so tobacco, strong, very sweet, plum, or uh, fig smell, and it smells really nice actually. So no no burnt f uh, smell, no burnt f feel to it. Very oily beans, and we'll go grind this up. Um, I'll make probably a, a one cup of coffee and let you know what it tastes like. All right, so I'm not really sure what grind I'm gonna use. Um, all right, probably. Probably that grind right there. All right, let's go. Now that I ground it, the um, the smells really, really strong. It's much stronger. Um, same same smells. Tobacco, really sweet plum or um, fig. I'll go more plum and a tiny bit of nougat. So, tobacco, plum, and nougat. Let's try Waterman Joe coffee. Let's uh, weigh it out and I'll get some water. All right, I got about 0.8 ounces of ground coffee. Let me go measure out the proper uh, water. All right, using the 17.1 ratio, we need 13.77 ounces of cold water, which we have here. So let me just finish it off. All right, good enough. Let's go put the water in and brew this up. Okay, I already wet the the the, the filter. Put in the coffee and let's brew. It is done. All right, let's get a cup. Let's pour it out and try it. All right. Get my Maryland Renaissance Festival mug. Let's let it sit for a bit, and I'll give you my uh, notes and tasting notes. I haven't let it sit yet, so I'm just giving my smelling notes right off the bat. 
that tobacco-y smell is still there. The sweetness is still there. It's very pleasant, very, very nice. Now, a lot of dark coffees have a chocolatey or a burnt smell or nougat. Um, a lot of tar, sometimes tar, rubber. This one does not have that. Um, definitely, uh, definitely tobacco and definitely, um, I'll say plum, plum kind of smell. All right, let's give it a little sip. Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, and my dog's here. Can you say hello, Pepper? Pepper wants to be in the review too. Thank you, Pepper. What do you think? What does it smell like? Oh no, get away from that. <laughs> All right. So, mm, um, surprising to me, it is not chocolatey. Really, Pepper, not chocolatey, not burnt. Very sweet. One of the sweetest dark roasts I've had. Tobacco. Almost a vanilla or nougaty flavor. Instead of chocolatey, it's vanilla or nougaty. The smallest, smallest undertone of like popsicle stick at the very, very end, but not bad at all. Um, it's a very cohesive flavor. Maybe a tiny bit of, there we go. Tiny bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate. All right, so as it cools down, the flavors are changing a tiny bit. Um, but this one is not extremely complex, but it definitely has a very sweet flavor to it, which is great. Very smooth. Tobacco, vanilla, maybe a slight undertone of chocolate instead of popsicle stick, I'll call it that. And, and sweetness, it'd go great with cream and sugar. Um, as a, as a lot of dark roasts do, but this one, um, yeah, it's very good. Waterman Joe, Kent Island, Maryland, coffee roaster, coffee shop. I'll give the link to the address and their website. Looks like they have a Facebook page. Um, dark roast coffee, really good. Not a traditional dark roast, it's not really chocolatey. Again, it has maybe tobacco, um, very sweet, almost plummy with vanilla and slight, slight chocolate undertones. Um, that's going to do it for me. Please like and subscribe. Check out Waterman Joe. Check out any Maryland coffee shops. If you have coffees you want me to try and review for you, please send it to me. I'll put a link uh, to my email address. You can send me, um, contact me through there and we'll send, send coffees out to me. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon channel and we'll catch you on the next episode.